This video shows how to work with IFC BIM models, how to link an IFC file, create a centre point for things like bolt holes and cylinders, measure the surfaces and stake points or lines. IFC stands for Industry Foundation Classes and is the international standard for Open BIM. It is a digital data model that typically contains building and construction data. From an IFC file you can set out or as built many things such as foundations or slabs, rebar, columns and beams, bolt holes, ducting for electrical and aircon, basically any point vertices or lines in a BIM model. The workflow in Trimble Access with IFC files is just like the XF files. Copy the IFC files to the projects folder, then tap the layers button to see the map files available. Tap the file once to make all layers visible, tap it again to make them all selectable. Tap the arrow to display the layers and control them individually. Only displaying the layers you're interested in makes working with them easier and more efficient. In the map, you have a number of ways to zoom and pan. You can use the toolbar on the left or use two fingers to zoom in and out and pan at the same time. Tap the rotate button to spin the model and view from different angles. Position the model so you can pick four corner points to set out. Tap the select icon and pick the four points. To see more detail, tap the show icon, then settings, and set the IFC display to wireframe. You can now see into the model. In this example, you can even see the rebar. Rotating the view enables you to confirm you have picked the correct points. Trimble Access will snap to vertices when you tap close to them, or will pick the line, enabling you to set out points and lines from IFC files. Tap Stakeout to set out the selected points. Navigate to the first point using the navigation information displayed. When you are happy with the delta, store the point. Now we could have very easily set out or checked the foundation formwork using a line too. Escape from stakeout point, double tap in the map to deselect the points, and then tap the line to select it and then tap stakeout. We can stake to a station on the line, picking the start or end station, or entering any station along the line, or not pay much attention to specific stationing and just look at our offset from the line during stakeout navigation. We can see in the map and from the negative stationing value we are before the start of the line, but from the H offset you can see we are on the projected line. We can use the go forward direction to navigate to a specific station, in this case the start of the line. To stake the centre of a bolt or cylinder we first need to create a centre point. Position the map so that you can see the end of the piles we want to set out the centres. Tap the end of the pile, it will change colour to show it has been selected. Tap and hold and select Compute Centre Point. Store the point and then select it from the map and stake it out. To measure a surface, for example to check the verticality of a column, position the map so that you can see the surface you are interested in checking. Tap the surface you are interested in checking, it will change colour to show it has been selected. Tap and hold and select Measure to Selected Surface. With the instrument in DR and tracking, we can now see the perpendicular distance between the design and the as-built. This concludes our video showing how to use IFC files. For more information, visit the Trimble Access Help Portal. Thanks for watching.